Hello, welcome back to my channel and I guess welcome to my kitchen. I just went to Whole Foods to get some stuff for dinner and just a few other things that I wanted to get and I thought I would come on here and vlog for you guys and show you guys what I got. Let's start. So I have two bags from Whole Foods. So I got cilantro. Um, I was waiting in line and I saw these. They're two dark chocolate cashew peanut butter cups and I thought they looked so good by Justin. So I got those. Also, for dinner I'm making burrito bowls. Um, I got some sourdough bread. I got a midday squares bar. I got taco seasoning and tomato paste. So what I do with my chicken when I marinate it for these burrito bowls is I put tomato paste and taco seasoning and some olive oil with the chicken. I like to cut up the chicken first so that it gets like all over it. And then um, I put it in the fridge for like a couple of hours before I start cooking. So it's really good, you guys should try it out. Got a lime. I got vanilla extract because I was out. Then I got some cherry tomatoes. So that's the first bag. The second bag has two Happy Planet smoothies. Um, this one's a mango passion fruit one, and this is an extreme sea one. I have to put everything away after. Um, I got Cholula because it's one of my favorite hot sauces, and I knew it would go really well with the burrito bowl tonight, so I got that. Um, I just got this cold brew by Station Cold Brew. Black beans for the burrito bowl and some green pickled jalapeno peppers because they're so good. I got some boneless chicken breast, obviously, to marinate. Some guacamole and some sour cream. I was gonna get avocados to make guacamole, but they either had like extremely mushy ones or like rock hard ones and I didn't want to risk it because I knew I wanted to make this tonight. So that's all I got from Whole Foods. And then I also, I'm just gonna pick it up for a second. I exchanged my bottles for some Lark. Um, like my, it's basically like you exchange your old bottles and they give you new ones while you're to buy them. But I did that today and they came up with wine. So I'm super excited to try them out. I'm probably gonna try one of them tonight, but I'll vlog it for you guys or I'll tell you how it is later on in the vlog. They came up with a red wine and a white one. So I'm super excited. I love them. They're a small business in Toronto and it's like no waste. It's really cool. And then I just got four of their Bastille waddle waters waddles um because i have literally been so bad at drinking water the past few days it's like kind of concerning so i'm just gonna be like also trying to drink a lot of water obviously i have a brita so i don't just drink this water but it'll be a nice treat the stuff i got from tea angle i don't know if that's how you say it but this is the company and they sent me three kinds of matcha i've only tried matcha a few times and I'm not gonna lie, it's not my favorite thing ever, but like I thought I'd try it out again and like this brand is supposed to be super good. So they sent me a ginger and lemongrass one, a peppermint one, and a chai one. Then they sent me a matcha bottle, which is pretty cool. So I'm excited to try it out and I'll let you guys know how that is as well. And they also sent this really cute spoon. <music> So I feel like I should address this. My hair is like super short and I cut it like a month ago and I didn't want it this short but the girl just like cut a huge chunk and you can't really go back after she cuts like a huge chunk off. So I got it this short but I think that in two weeks so literally start of 2021 it's going to be the perfect length that it's going to have grown out a bit. So I just already know that 2021 is going to be my year. I want to talk about skims, especially, and like shopping from Essence. 
For those of you who don't know, Skims is like a shapewear slash loungewear brand by Kim Kardashian and then Essence is like a Toronto, not Toronto, Montreal based like online, I would call it a luxury department, not department, but like luxury online store. They have like Gucci, they have Adidas and Nike, they just have like a lot of high-end brands and then like I, 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 can, I don't consider Adidas and Nike high-end but like they're nice brands. They have Sporty and Rich, that's where I got my t-shirt from. Um, they just sell a lot of like good brands, like I really like them. And the part that I really like about them, they're Canadian and they have free shipping over $100. Most of the stuff on there is like around $100. So I have purchased a lot of stuff from there. Um, and I've never really had issues from them until now. So a little backstory on like skims and stuff. They started off obviously in the States and you could purchase them to Canada, but it costed a lot of money for like shipping duties. Um, the products itself are kind of on the more expensive side, I would say. And I hate paying for shipping. So like that's another reason I like Essence because they have a lot of stuff that I like. So like, let's say I buy something for $60. <clears throat> I could just purchase another thing and get free shipping because they have a lot of basics and stuff. So when I found out that they were going to be available on Essence, I got super excited because I've been wanting to try them for a really long time. They're super popular right now and a lot of YouTubers have done like reaction videos and like said what they like from them and like said what they didn't like and stuff. So there are a few pieces that I really wanted to get and I was going to order them to my parents house in the States but I just never did. Then they just came on Essence. I was like, okay, cool. Like I've been wanting the boxer shorts which is what I'm wearing right now so I'll show you guys um these are them I don't know if you guys can really see but they're basically just like boxer shorts um I like wearing shorts a lot so I was super excited to get those they were $50 I think and the bra which I got which I'm not gonna try on for you guys because just not about that um it's the plunge bra anyways that's the plunge bra I ordered them both in black and I got a package, bra is white, and I'm like, okay, maybe I ordered it wrong, I don't know what's going on, like, let me check my um, confirmation. I checked my confirmation and I did order it in black, so I obviously called customer service and I didn't want, also like, I didn't want it in black, I, or I didn't want it in white, sorry. I wanted them in black so they could match and like I could wear them together or even like not a huge fan of white bras. Um, so I called customer service and I was like, hey, like you guys sent me the wrong color and it's kind of like inconvenient, whatever. They have free returns, but like you have to print out a return label, which I don't have a printer. I don't know who does this, like who does have printers right now not right now but just saying in general like if I had to print something I'd go to work but we're not going to work right now I also I don't live far from a post office but it's not like I don't have a car or anything and to be honest with you guys I'm not really leaving the house that much so it just was it's not convenient for me to have to go return something that I didn't even purchase like they made the mistake so I called customer service and I was like hey like you guys sent me the wrong color I checked my um receipt and like it's wrong the woman was like hey can you send us a picture of it like she emailed me and she's like can you respond to this email with the picture which is fair like they obviously want to tell see if I'm telling the truth I send the photo she gets it and she was like okay like you just need to return it um and then like repurchase the black one and I was like okay but like you guys made the mistake like <sighs> I, is there anything you could do for me also like I don't have a printer and technically like I could figure out the post office thing like I could go take a walk and go to the post office but printer like I don't have a printer we're literally in a lockdown like I can't go print something at a store or like you know how they have like staples or anything so I explained this to her and she's like okay like let me talk to like my manager or something and I was like I can just talk to your manager like whatever so the manager comes on the phone she was like okay like we're so sorry, we'll give you 15% off 
of your purchase with like the black one and we'll expedite the shipping for free so I had to place another order I did it over the phone with them which made it easier and they like refunded me the expedited shipping and then like refunded me the 50% off of the bra which was nice and she was like and DHL will come pick up the other one so you don't have to like print anything so I was like okay like that's fair that like obviously it's annoying that that happened but like they gave me money off the black one and they're gonna come deal with the white one and I like I didn't want the white like I don't really want to if the same bra after we get off the call she was like okay hey, I'm gonna email you like a confirmation about like what just happened and I was like okay sounds good I get an email from her like I want to say half an hour later and she was like hey like we can't do a DHL pickup, which is odd because I've done DHL pickups before for like a lot of other companies. We can't do DHL pickup, so we sent someone from Canada Post to come pick up the package. You have to print this off. So I get this email and I'm like, did she not understand that I told her like I can't print something off? Like yes, like I just told you guys, I technically could go to a post office and figure that whole thing out but I don't have a printer and like I'm not going to work right now like I can't fix that issue so I left like this it was the, all this week so it wasn't like that long ago so I was like okay this is so strange like I can't print it off whatever though maybe the guy from Canada Post won't need me to print it off like I just thought that and then yesterday was the day that he was supposed to come so I called Essence in the morning because I was like, hey, like, this is what's going on. I don't know what's going to happen when the guy comes, but I don't have a printer and, like, I can't print this off for you. And, like, I literally don't know when I'm going to be, ha when I'm going to have the printer. So I'm sitting there. The guy was, like, super nice. Like, no hate to the actual customer service agents because I know it's not on them. Like, they didn't package my order wrong. I called for my concierge being like, hey, there's a guy to pick something up. Like, is it downstairs? I was like, no, I'll come down. So... I actually got the black bra in that morning, so I just packaged the white one in the black bra box. So I bring it down and I explain to the guy, I'm like, hey, like I don't have a printed off um, return slip, whatever. And he was like, okay, like I just need to scan it so like it should be fine. And I was like, oh cool, like in my mind, I'm like, oh cool, this actually is working out. Like I packaged the bra and the Thing they sent it to me in I got it discounted which skims I don't think ever goes on sale so I was like okay like whatever like obviously it was a whole it's super annoying to have to go through this when it's not my mistake like I didn't order the wrong color but whatever he's like yeah I just need to scan the thing on your phone and uh do you mind writing down the like return um address on the box so I'm like yeah for sure my concierge gives me a, a sharpie I write it all down um and he's like okay cool like let me just call my supervisor to like make sure this is okay i was like okay like whatever calls the supervisor they cannot return it without a return label he's like i'm so sorry and i'm like it's not your fault like i told them i don't have a printer and i asked if i could forward him the email he was like no like he was like what the hell so i still have the bra and I called customer service again and like every time I called them I was like I know this is not your fault but like this is what's going on and I don't want this bra I already got my new one I just want a refund on my money and like I don't want this bra like you can come take it like I don't want it I don't have a printer I swear to god I don't even remember the woman was like oh yeah we're gonna refund you and if you can return it like that's cool and she said she was gonna send me a confirmation number or confirmation email didn't get anything so as of now i'm not sure what's going on um but just that is like kind of really annoying from essence like i just don't understand what's going on with their customer service and like how they even send me the wrong product because um i don't know it just seems like they're not that organized and I did order another Skims product because I ordered a few presents for my brother from Essence like a few days before this all happened. So I ordered the tank top too, it hasn't come yet unfortunately, but um, like I'm still going to order off Essence purely for the fact that 
they do have good shipping policies like it's free over $100 and they do sell a lot of brands like you can't order skims um, from another Canadian company and like without paying insane duties so that's like the only reason they still have my business but I just want to warn you guys like their customer service isn't the best and I have been told this by another one of my friends but I was like no like for me like it's always been good this has just been quite annoying because again it was not my fault like I ordered the black one I just got sent the white one and the first manager who spoke to me like I found it kind of annoying how she just emailed me after and was like by the way like we couldn't do what I promised you like you still have to print this off when I told her specifically I do not have a printer so besides all of that I have to say I do love the bra and the shorts like I'm wearing the shorts right now they're super comfortable I got extra small in both of them and for reference I am a size like I actually don't even know but like for sweatpants I'm a size extra small like that's what I am usually and then for jeans like I'm a size zero but sometimes a size two so it doesn't like but size extra small is zero to two so I really recommend checking their size guide because um I at first wasn't sure I was like oh maybe I should get small but like I'm for sure smaller than a two but like sometimes I can fit into a two so yeah um love skims I love the actual products essence ugh just needs to figure it out and like not send the wrong colors of stuff and or like have better I don't know like figure it out regardless because like what if this was could be a Christmas present like it's like the holidays right now we're in the middle of a pandemic it's kind of quite annoying that they did this to me at the end of the day it is just a bra um, yeah I just didn't need that right now I uh, just want to come on here to share that though case you guys were thinking of ordering from essence just beware because that might happen to you but yeah skims love them they're great like they're so comfortable and they're so flattering on so really really happy with that but yeah I think this is my new vlogging spot because there's like windows all around this room except for this wall obviously and Sorry, I'm just texting my friend Jordan about the Starbucks drink because for those of you who don't know, she's the one, I mean, who would know this other than like her and our close friends, but she's the one who showed me the like Fenty Black Tea Lemonade No Pumps Classic with raspberry syrup instead. And I saw this drink on TikTok. I literally am such a sucker for TikTok. Um... It's a venti black tea lemonade, light ice, light apple juice, no liquid cane syrup, add peach juice, and four pumps classic syrup. So I'm just telling her about it and it tastes like juice. It's really good, but it just tastes like juice. So I prefer the drink we usually get. If you guys want a screenshot that to try the drink, it's like good. It just tastes like a refresher. Anyways, I came here to talk about a few packages that some that I received before, some one I just got now. This is the one that I purchased from Sephora. I'm so excited for it. And um but let me just get into it. So first I want to talk about finish. Um so I mentioned kind of briefly in my other vlog that my friend bought these. He actually bought them off Amazon Prime because they were on sale. So like shout out to him because I would not have gotten this wouldn't have happened to me if he didn't use them and I wasn't over that night and didn't notice his cups. But, um, he literally only had these pods. Like, he didn't buy any of the extra stuff that they sent me. So, when I tell you my dishes are, like, extra clean with the, um, jet dry rinse aid, which I gave him some of this because his dishes would always come out fully wet. I don't know why, but this, like, works really well and I like told my mom I got all this stuff and she was like oh my god I'm so jealous you got this rinse aid and I this was the thing that I was like not least excited about but like never really heard of it didn't really like think much of it but it's like amazing and this bottle lasts you 207 washes because you have to um refill it like every few months I think it is no monthly sorry but like still that's a it really lasts you a long time 
these are what I was most excited for because at the beginning of quarantine or like when I was like in my peak TikTok phase there was a lot of TikToks I mean I was also just on cleaning TikTok I know people have different algorithms on their TikToks but I kept seeing people cleaning their dishwashers like deep cleaning their dishwashers and you would have to run it twice once with vinegar once with like baking soda I forget the exact like what it exactly was but I would look it up on YouTube and like look it up on TikTok and I did that twice like I and I took out the little filter and like washed it with warm soap and water and obviously like I think it worked but one you're wasting a lot of water by doing that you have to run it twice and I just like obviously trust finish because they're a dishwasher cleaning company so or like you know what I mean like they make stuff for dishwashers and they came out with two dishwasher cleaners this one you use it monthly and you basically just put it in your dishwasher alone without any other um like no dishes nothing just put it in take off the little sticker at the top upside down and you run it on the hottest cycle for the longest time I don't think it has to be the longest time, but like you don't want to do it for the shortest time, obviously. And it just cleans your dishwasher like fully. It's amazing. And then you have these little pods which you put in once a week and you literally just put it in with a pod. So like right now my dishwasher is running. I didn't put one in yet because I'm going to clean my dishwasher um, in a week, like deep clean it. So I was like, I don't need to right now. My dishwasher is pretty clean. But you like while you're running your dishwasher once a week, you just throw one of these in as well throw one of these they're good to go and they're just amazing I really really I'm just so grateful they sent me so many things I shared some with friends and family so they're also super grateful and I'm sure they are like fully moved over to finish and I don't think they purchase any other brand other than them and I really recommend you guys try them sorry um next up I just I'm not gonna go through each product because there's there are like quite a few products in here but I'm gonna sneeze sorry drunk elephant sent me a package which was super nice of them and they actually sent me it's called the littles and it just has a bunch of um it's not all of their products that they sell but like a lot of their like best-selling products and they're all travel size so obviously I'm not traveling right now. This is such a good gift to get someone if they like want to try out a bunch of their products or they just are a huge traveler. I know traveling isn't a thing right now, but um, I don't know in the future. They sell it on Sephora, um, this like little scent. It comes with such a cute little bag. But yeah, I'm just super grateful that I get um, a bunch of products sent to me. I share a lot of them with my friends and family as well but I'm a huge fan of Drunk Elephant so I will be keeping this for myself and trying out all these products and seeing which ones work well with my skin and then I'll probably buy the full size but it's really good to try out their products because they are a little bit on the steeper side so um it's just like makes more sense to try them out before you purchase them and then realize they don't work for your skin because obviously not everything works for everyone's skin next up I Placed an order on Sephora. I've been wanting Aesop soap and hand cream for my kitchen for no other reason other than like I'm super extra and need to chill. Like I don't know why I need to buy that like super expensive soap and stuff in my kitchen. But I decided to instead of spend a, that much money on Aesop get the Mela and goats I like honestly think I'm saying that wrong the rum hand soap and the rum body lotion and I'll put those in my kitchen and they're really cute and this is what they look like um it's just like a little treat for myself and obviously I'm washing my hands a lot right now and you're supposed to wash them a lot anytime but like um I just feel like this is nice my skin is really sensitive so like I like to get products that are a little bit better for your skin um, so yeah I just decided to treat myself and get those that's what I got um, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here 
just because I want to edit it and I'm going to be vlogging next week as well. I know this is kind of like a sit down vlog but I just want to talk to you guys about a few things and it's not a sit down video. It's kind of like a whatever. Um, let me know if you guys like montages too because I don't know if I should do those. I don't know like what you guys like to see. Do you guys later. I forgot to say like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. <laughs> so my Instagram is right here. Also, please comment as well if you guys want to. Okay, goodbye. Wow, I'm such a great YouTuber. I forgot to say all that stuff.